I understand heretics and what you're supposed to do, but there's no balance with many today in this generation. A man that may be a little more worldly in his life but is not a dangerous heretic is blasted on a video and treated like a heretic to be marked and avoided. It just It's like this full-scale assault war that takes place. And this is how this generation communicates. I'm telling you, it's how they communicate with each other and how they treat each other. You see, now we have people who communicate more frequently, but not as completely and product productively as we did before. The Internet generation attempts to communicate online, and when they have a disagreement, it ends up getting ugly very quickly. And there is no grace. One of the things that cannot be passed on to you in this generation through the Internet... <laughs> through any even internet teaching or whatever, is understanding that fruit of the Spirit or the grace and mercy that is needed and how to deal with people personally and straightforward. You learn that in a church. You learn that by dealing with your brethren. You learn that by having problems come up and dealing with them and working them out and talking them through. Amen. Because things can quickly escalate over an email or over a text. And the best thing to do sometimes is to stop and go see the person or go talk to the person. It's the best thing to do to get it out. So they can look at you face to face, eye to eye, and you can have a conversation. One of the things we have failed at in this area is on the internet is this one dimensional communication. Turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Paul said in verse number one, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not, charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Charity is long-suffering. I'm afraid that there are Christians that can, that they can make a video about some ministry, and they know about the occult and other things about that. They know about apostates and all that kind of stuff, but they have no long-suffering or patience with people that they deal with. I understand heretics and what you're supposed to do, but there's no balance with many today in this generation. A man that may be a little more worldly in his life but is not a dangerous heretic is blasted on a video and treated like a heretic to be marked and avoided. It just It's like this full-scale assault war that takes place. And this is how this generation communicates. I'm telling you, it's how they communicate with each other and how they treat each other. Then you have people nitpicking to death everything because they have access to all the information but no temperance on how to deal with real life situations. You know why a lot of these people are, they pastor online? <laughs> well, because they wouldn't have patience to deal with anybody in person. They wouldn't be able to deal with challenges that come up. They wouldn't be able to deal, they don't have to. When they do everything online, they don't have to deal with people in person. Or watch two people that need to deal with each other. It's 
So you have to teach you have, we have to teach them those that we have to teach those that come here that are used to just blasting people with information on a computer screen of how to deal with people in real life that you talk to every day of your life. Let me tell you something. There are some things that when persecution comes, you and I will not be nitpicky over. Right? There are a few things that you and I, when persecution comes, will not blast each other over. There are other brethren online that we will, we would drop some things when persecution came. Right? But in this internet age, it's not real life communicating and dealing with people. For many people, the sum total of how they, how they know how to communicate is just through online. Some men believe they're ready to pastor, start a church, or serve the Lord because they're saved and have a burden. Wonderful. And they have a lot of knowledge, but all that knowledge does not always translate into wisdom and in how to communicate that message to others. That doesn't translate into the qualifications of a bishop and not being a novice. A novice with a lot of knowledge and a platform to share it with no restraint is a dangerous thing. Very dangerous.